Welcome to Get In The Mix. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to DJ on a phone or tablet. Now, this is one of the most common questions we get asked here at Get In The Mix. So in today's video, we're gonna be running out how to connect your device, how to connect your audio, and we're gonna be taking a look at three individual scenarios. Now, the first device we're gonna look at today is the DDJ200. This is a Pioneer controller natively supported by both iOS and Android and it runs on an app called Wii DJ. Now, Wii DJ supports in-app streaming from both SoundCloud Go and Beatport Link, but sadly, this does not feature on the Android version. This is the easiest of the three controllers that we're gonna set out today, and it's as simple as powering up your device via a USB cable and a handy phone charger, opening up the Wii DJ app on your device of choice, heading to the settings, ensuring that your Bluetooth is turned on, and simply connecting to the DDJ200 by connect to DDJ200 button. This will then indicate that it's connected via an on-screen flash on the device. And once you've got there, that's your device all connected. Now it's just time to connect your audio, which is as simple as plugging this handy little splitter cable into your headphone output on the device in question. One of the ends for your headphones and one of your ends for the speakers. Now, of course, if you're running a newer Android or Apple device, you're gonna need a handy little converter, something like this, but of course, you will get one with your phone or device when you first purchased it. Now that we're all set up, it's as simple as loading a track, and away we go. The next device we're gonna take a look at today is the S2 Mark III from Native Instruments. Now, again, this is a really easy device to get set up, but does have one drawback. It is sadly only supported by iPad. Now this runs on the Tractor DJ2 app that you can download from the App Store and has again streaming from SoundCloud Go. Again, this one is as simple as powering via either the USB cable and the power charger that we saw earlier or the power supply that is of course sold separately. But you achieve just the same from using the USB as you do from the power supply. It's a really easy way to get it set up. You'll see on the back here, we've got a really aptly labeled iPad connection. We simply go from that connection to our iPad, open up the Tractor DJ2 app, again, load a track in, away we go. Again, easy as pie. Wow, that's easy. <laughs> The final scenario we're gonna be taking a look at today is the everything else category. Now, the vast majority of controllers are supported by Algorithm's DJ Pro app. Now, there's a free version and a subscription-based service. The free version supports a number of your basic controllers, including your DDJ200s, your Numark Party Mix, and a full list that can be found via their website. And via the subscription, you can get access to your more premium controllers, things like your Numark Mix Tracks, your DDJ800s, your 1000s, whatever it might be. The concept for this is similar to what's been done on the S2, except for you'll notice that we only have a single USB output instead of the two. So we need to find a way of powering this device while still being able to connect it to our iPad or Android tablet. In this case, we're gonna be using a camera connection kit. Now the camera connection kit allows us to plug the camera connection kit as a power supply into the power source. It allows us to connect the USB B to A cable from our Numark controller into the connection kit and from the connection kit into either our uh, lightning import on our Apple iPad or uh, iPhone or of course uh, via a USB-C on your Android tablet. Again, it's as simple as opening up your DJ app, finding your controller in the connection list, connecting, and away you go. You can then, once this is done, use your controller's built-in RCA outputs and headphone inputs to connect your headphones and your speakers. So hopefully today's video gives you a good idea of how to get your device set up on a phone or tablet, really breaking down the barriers to entry for DJing. So as always, like if you like, dislike if you dislike, chuck us a comment in the comment section and be sure to subscribe and make sure to get in the mix.